orangutans playing Xbox games to wild marmosets watching how-to videos. These are nine ways primates act like humans. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. An orangutan named Mago in Indonesia was released into the wild, but after 13 years at an animal rescue center, he apparently picked up a few tricks from his human caregivers. A research team monitoring Mago's progress saw that when he arrived at a dangerous river crossing, he stopped and picked up a staff-like stick, which he used to test the waters, literally, in an effort to determine if the river was too deep to cross. After carefully determining it was safe to cross, he did so, but he soon lost the branch, and realizing it would be unsafe to continue without it, Mago reluctantly headed back to land. Is it any surprise that orangutans are considered to be among the most intelligent of primates? Number 8. Did you know that chimps in West Africa like to get together, socialize, and knock back a few stiff drinks? Researchers in Guinea have observed male and female apes, young and old alike, exhibiting signs of inebriation. The animals have found a way to extract fermented sap from raffia palms using a type of leaf sponge tool they created. Until now, stories of animals in the wild ingesting ethanol or alcohol were just that, stories. This is believed to be the first time the volunteer and habitual consumption of alcohol has been documented in wild apes. Number 7. Primates are known to exhibit human-like traits, and that seems to extend to playing video games as well. Because orangutans at the Melbourne Zoo become easily bored, researchers there have developed a way for the animals to engage in collaborative play with zookeepers. They're using the Xbox One's Kinect 3D sensor to project a digital display onto the floor of the orangutan enclosure. But it's not for them to play Halo or Grand Theft Auto. This game consists of a red dot that explodes into a variety of shapes and colors when the orangutan touches it, and that creates a wide range of reaction from the animals every time they see it. In the future, experts foresee computer games that are specifically designed for orangutans. Number 6. A local TV station was using a drone to capture high-angle video of the animal's enclosure for a TV program. The drone flew around the zoo until arriving in the chimps area. The primates took note of the craft and quickly grabbed long sticks to defend themselves. Now one chimp, a female, was situated high up in a tree with her own stick and was apparently dozing in the morning sun as the drone hovered closer. Like a flash, the chimp struck the craft with its long long stick, scoring a direct hit. The drone was knocked to the ground, where a group of chimps efficiently dismantled the expensive device. But the camera kept rolling, allowing one of the chimps to take a selfie before finally wandering off. The zoo hasn't said whether or not the drone was salvaged. Number 5. In 2015, a gorilla in the wild was seen using tools, the first time such an event was recorded. Researchers were observing groups of mountain gorillas at the Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. When a male silverback was unable to collect driver ants by sticking his hand down a hole in the ground, a juvenile female named Lasanga formulated a solution. First, she observed the ants around the hole for a few minutes, and after an attempt to insert her own hand into the hole resulted in painful ant bites, she selected a piece of wood. It was thought to be a tree branch around 20 centimeters long. She inserted the stick into the hole and out again, licking the ants off the stick. Previously, this tool-making behavior had only been observed in chimpanzees. Number 4. Researchers found that chimps use their hands to inspect fruit before deciding whether or not to eat it. Experts think it might help us to better understand why humans first started using tools. Humans are better at using the hands than any other animal, which is one reason why our ancestors began to use tools in the first place. Because primates subsist on figs, scientists watched chimps climb trees to make sensory assessments as to whether or not the fruit was ripe. The animals would smell the fruit and observe its color, then and squeeze and feel the fig to determine how firm it was. Feeling the fruit was thought to be the quickest way to determine its ripeness. Number 3. 
A study was undertaken in the jungles of Brazil to examine how monkeys learn from one another in the wild. Marmosets were chosen as test subjects because they're native to Brazil and are very curious and social creatures. Screens were set up in protective enclosures in the jungle. A video of a common marmoset taking a banana slice from a plastic device was shown on a loop. The animal opened the box by pulling open the drawer or by lifting the lid. A similar plastic container filled with treats was also placed at the enclosure. Researchers observed 12 groups of marmosets, 108 in all. 11 marmosets could open the box after seeing the how-to video. One could open the box after seeing a still image of the procedure. While monkeys have been trained in captivity by using such videos, this was the first time they were used to train creatures in the wild. Number 2. Have you ever heard of sarumawashi? And sorry if I got that wrong, but it's a Japanese word that translates as dancing monkeys. And it's a tradition that's around a thousand years old. Macaque monkeys are clothed and highly trained to perform tricks, dances, and acrobatics. The practice is based on an ancient belief that the primates served as protection from disease for the horses of samurai warriors. In the photographs by Hiroshi Watanabe, you can see how human-like the primates appear, where the brandishing swords, gazing into the distance deep in thought, appearing to count on the fingers, or wearing a bamboo sieve along with a fiercely intimidating look. This practice became nearly extinct in the 1970s, but has recently been revived. Number 1 primate photographers. While we were researching this episode, we couldn't help but notice a lot of pictures turning up that showed primates having a definite curiosity about photography. So we thought we'd share a few of our favorite images with you. The primate in this picture seems to be studying the f-stop setting on his camera. With its grayish fur, it looks like a grizzled veteran photographer about ready to start framing its subject. This image seemed to pop up quite a bit. Now it's obvious that the human photographer is getting some help from his fellow primate there, who really seems to be into composing his shot just right. This picture by John Green shows six monkeys gathered about the camera and tripod, and in an odd way, they appear to know what they're doing. We think these primates are a variety of macaque monkey. Do you think maybe they're getting ready for their own close-ups? This picture was published on the Yoho Media blog in 2014 by Mark Whatmore. A film crew was following a UK animal rights group that was working with the Peruvian government to ban the use of wild animals in circuses. This bald wakari was one of the animals seized. Now just look at how the primate seems to be in charge of a high-tech video camera, as if setting up his next shot. It appears to be serious about its craft. 